Time signatures are one of the fundamental tools in reading music. It's something that is taught from very early on, 4-4 being the most common, being labeled as a C in some cases for common time, the top number referring to the number of beats in the bar, and the bottom referring to what type of note gets the beat. A 4 meaning a quarter note, or 1 over 4, a 2 would be a half note, and a 1 would be a whole note. Things get a little interesting when we look at something like 6-8. Naturally, you would think six beats to the bar and the eighth note gets the beat. And in some cases, like the ending to Strauss's Ein Heldenleben, that would be correct. What about this march, though? It's in 6-8, but the dotted quarter gets the beat, and there are two beats to the bar. This is actually the more common use of 6-8, but what number would a dotted quarter get? Two and two-thirds? That would make an awkward looking time signature. So why not just put a number over a note symbol? That's actually been done. Carmina Burana is written that way, and it makes so much sense. The problem with time signatures is that musicians try to fit things into nice little boxes with even beats. They will fight to find even beats instead of looking at the rhythm and finding a beat pattern. The main exception to this is 7-8 time, since it is so common, almost always heard as two quarters and a dotted quarter. But isn't that just three and a half over four? While on Russian subdivisions, pun very much intended, the intro to Russia's YYZ is a perfect example of applying an even beat to a complex rhythm. It's most commonly looked at in 5-4, five beats to the bar, quarter note gets the beat, well, let's listen to one measure. What about the second measure? Okay, so the second measure easily fits into 5-4, but the first measure doesn't. Is there a way to make both of them fit that would make more sense? The other bit of common knowledge about this intro is that it's in Morse code for the letters Y, Y, and Z. So why not divide up the rhythm that way? Y, Y, Z. That gives us 787834 meter progression. To me, this fits and makes far more sense than trying to fit it into 5 4. As an experiment to really show that you can feel beat patterns, let's take a song in 7 8 time with the standard quarter quarter dotted quarter beat pattern. If I added a single quarter note to every other bar, it makes it into two 4 4 bars, right? 7 plus 7 plus 2 equals 16. So it should automatically switch to 4-4 four, four in your head, right? Let's find out. I'm willing to bet you didn't hear that in 4-4, four, four, but rather two 7-8 bars with a single beat at the end. I wonder if I can prime you the opposite way, by giving you a 4-4 four, four beat before a melody that has that same beat pattern from before. One last thing before getting into the main topic of the 5-4 clave. What time signature is this? I like to be in America. Okay, by me in America. Every Everyone I've quizzed on this says it's trading off 6-8 and 3-4. It makes sense. Two accented dotted quarter notes followed by three accented quarter notes. Here's a few more examples. So what time signature is this then? Many say it's 5-4. But why isn't it a 6-8 bar followed by a 2-4 bar? If it's perfectly using the same logic as the previous example, I'm not sure why this happens and would really like to know. 
So who cares which way it's viewed? The end result is the same, right? Actually, no. In my experience performing with many different ensembles, I've noticed that time signatures get in the way of the music. I've played a piece that includes this beat pattern. And the orchestra was dragging. Why? Because the rhythm is not straight quarters, but rather four dotted quarters, and they were counting the time signature rather than feeling the beat pattern. So here's my challenge to you. When listening or performing any music, try to feel the beat pattern rather than what the time signature is. Here's a handful of examples of 5-4, but have the 6-8 followed by a 2-4 feel, also called the 5-4 clave. I'll show the beat pattern as they go along, giving four measures of each tune. Why didn't I include Brubeck's Take 5 or Everything's Alright from Jesus Christ Superstar? Because those don't fully follow the 5-4 clave pattern. The easiest way to hear the difference is to listen for the emphasized third beat. In the 5-4 clave, that accent is not there. Try not to get worried, try not to turn on to... In the end, you can feel beat patterns or time signatures however you'd like, but in my experience if you go by the beat pattern instead of reading the beats based on the time signature, you will be more accurate in your rhythm. Considering we are so caught up in the same time signatures all the time, here are some more complicated beat patterns and shoutouts to video game composers for leading the charge. Thank you.
How did those work out for you? Was it easier to hear those beat patterns? Or would you rather stay with trying to find even beats? Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next video.